Hello everyone, before we start today's video, I would like to draw your attention to SAR Kharkiv, a voluntary organisation of responders operating on the front lines in Donbass to evacuate civilians, supply aid to the front lines and more. They rely on donations and are definitely worth supporting. So this is an old incident which is worth a look as the photo has only just been released recently. This image shows the before and after of a group of Russian vehicles, mainly T-62s and BMPs. These were hit in June 2022, and as you can see by the aftermath picture, it's pretty brutal. This is clearly the work of a sustained and fierce artillery barrage, or maybe even an MLRS strike. On the after photo, four T-62s are listed, including one which has been cremated. These are reported, according to the source, to actually be the first T-62s which were destroyed in Ukraine. So although this is an old incident, this is newly released images, so I thought these worth a look, as these have just been added to Oryx now. And I have a location, so we can see where this took place. So these were in these woods here, which were clearly being used as a mustering point for armoured vehicles, I would assume likely prior to an offensive operation, or for these to be shipped north somewhere. But to be certain, we'll have to check deep states in a moment. First, zoomed out, we can see that this is on the road leading out of a town called Novo Mikhailivka, and it's on the road leading towards a town called Ocheratovata. So, as deep state shows us, this is the situation of June last year, and this is over 20 kilometers to the front lines. So, this is in range of regular artillery. But because of the risk of counter battery fire to howitzers operating close enough to the front to be able to hit this cluster of vehicles, I'm inclined to think MLRS. HIMARS did arrive in Ukraine in late June, so this could possibly be one of the first HIMARS strikes. Unfortunately, we don't know when in June these T 62s were actually hit, but it does bear all of the hallmarks of a HIMARS. Another possibility, of course, is a Soviet system such as the Grad. But regardless, whatever was used, it clearly did a number on these old T-62s and BMPs. Oryx has 70 T-62s listed so far, including these ones, which have been added in the last day or so. Russia reportedly withdrew between 600 to 800 T-62s from storage last year, and this incident clearly shows that Oryx's numbers will always be lower than the actual number. These T-62s were destroyed last year, but they hadn't been documented, or at least hadn't been publicly documented, until now. So I have to wonder how many more wrecks are waiting to be discovered and added. Before we finish, zoomed out, here's its location on Deep States from June last year, so it's on the southern front. So I hope you found this video interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everyone.